uh, since I'm not trained in fashion and I paint and sketch, let me choose another route, which was movies. I feel, I feel that I loved movies so much as a child, I never loved anyone after that, that <laughs> movies gave me back everything. So I, here I was, I'd never been abroad. I went abroad when I was 19 with my modeling money. I, I told my father, I'm 19, I haven't even been abroad. So I went to Singapore and Bangkok. So here I was shopping in London, New York. I was doing a song in Switzerland. I'm coming back next year again. I'm flying back. So I was, I was shopping in Austria. I, it was crazy. I was like the next 10 years of my life, I was on a plane with clothes because if I went with Urmila, then Karishma was, you have to come with me. The Karishma, I was going with Kaju. So that is how it was. So that time I didn't imagine mainstream. Till Yash Chalavati Birla offered me a store, and that's the first time I met you as well. That's right. And uh, so I started a store with him. Now again, I was a bandra boy, if you all all know Mumbai, and society at that time was absolutely different from the film industry. Today it's all one. Yeah. And at that time, I was here in a world, again, which I was, I was not familiar at all with. You know, they were seeking billions of rupees, and there were tables which were criticizing the other table. I was like, what world is this? I, I, you know, and uh, so here I was balancing uh, all of that. And then I left them and I joined Sheetal Design Studio, uh, where again we encountered each other. And for three years I worked there, where I saw a lot of production of clothes and all of that. And then I decided to launch my own label. But I think the first five years, um, I went to balancing between movies and fashion. This question, I just want to know, what is your favorite? Danny Bright. <laughs> You know, it's just that everything you do in life, like I was so busy with movies, I started mainstream and I was like, why did I do it earlier? I started my store about a year and a half in Delhi. I mean, I entered Delhi um, about four, four and a half years ago with various stores. Now I think, my God, why did I come here one and a half ago? I should have come here five years ago. So Delhi brides and bridegrooms really spent. I've never seen so many men shop. I've never seen the mother-in-law or the mother dress up as much as the bride. And, uh, and what is fantastic is how excited and happy they are. It's over. I actually do agree with you. Yeah, so it's, it's lovely. So I'm between Bombay, Dubai, Delhi. Yeah. Delhi. Dubai is where my heart is. Delhi is where my business is. <laughs> and, and what happens to Bombay? Bombay is where I stay. Okay. On that note, I'm going to start my rapid fire with you. I'm very inspired by Karan. This is my moment to do a Karan on you. Um, Any diplomatic answers, you know that. You know, I won't let you know. You also know that. So, Manish, who was the first bride you dressed up? Not filthy. First bride? Actually, first bride was many, many years ago, Chunky Pandey's wife, Bhavna. And that time I used to not make bad because I used to dress Chunky. Of course, Chunky was, if the shooting is at 2 o'clock, he's deciding it's close to 1.30. And he'd be like, Chunky, it's only half an hour left the garment. How do I go and pick up a garment? So, it was that indecisive. So he came with his uh, bride, I didn't have a store or anything, I was in my house. So we made it a blue outfit actually, it was for a wedding reception. So that was the first bride. And, uh, Who was your first Dubai bride? First Dubai bride? The first time I came to Dubai was in 1999 with the uh, Tribhavan Das family, with Mira Zaveri. And I loved it at that time. So when we came back, we came here for two so shopping for two days. And I stayed back for one more day, I liked it so much. And uh, I love clean cities and I'm quite a clean cupboard, clean boy who likes everything in order. Like this is in order, which is good. So, no, it has to be. Yeah. So, so uh, first, first bride? bride. I, I, I don't know first bride actually. When we started our store, I think there's so many brides, so many visits, I don't know, I don't remember. Who's been the most challenging bride? What's the most outrageous, outlandish request that a bride has made? But the most, uh, the, the heaviest outfit is I met for a bride in, in Saudi, in Riyadh, she's a princess, and they wear these beautiful white gowns, but she wanted a lot of Indian influence. Uh, so she was wearing a mom tikka, and we did this drape which had a lot of Indian embroidery, and it was six, seven meters. And she's stunning looking, she was really, really beautiful. So that was my most extravagant outfit. I think the, I think my best bride is Karina, because she was, such a cool bride that I had to call and say, do you mind at least come and do fitting? So she was like, yeah, yeah, we'll meet in Lolo's house at 6 o'clock and we'll go fitting and all of that. And one day before a mehndi, uh, which, one day before a sangeet, which was a party in Self's house, I said, you know, I made this lehenga yesterday, I wanted to show it to you. She said, okay, I'll wear that. 
So I said, but I, this is made for you. She said, but that's looking nice, it's made that. So I said, what about the dupatta? She said, you make a dupatta, just put a border and make a dupatta, I'll be cool. It's me, I'll carry it. So I was like, oh. So she, the, she was actually one of the coolest brides I have ever worked with. She was teasing me that for a Walima's outfit, I was more excited than she was. But that might be true. Yeah, so I was like, she was the, the coolest bride I've ever worked with. Which is the one outfit that a, that a filmy bride has worn that has got you the maximum orders? See, right now what happens is that there are lots of film actresses who are showstoppers and they were, so those for like Alia's Red Lenga last year or Deepika's Lenga before that in blue, it started this whole blue color. But um, orders for a bride, but we don't repeat the bride's clothes. So, if she's worn, so I have to change it around, so. But any one particular outfit that an actress has worn in a film that has really got you a lot of, like people come with it as a reference and say it was something a, like that. I think it was Kajol's outfit, kuch kuch hota hai, which had different colors put together. Or uh, then for Shilpa, uh, Shetty had made a blue outfit years ago in Darkan.